<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Um, <clears throat> here again, you see the lesson plans uh, for this week. Uh, this video is looking at <clears throat> the document analysis uh, that goes with your uh, progressive movement assessment. Again, this is a performance assessment, a writing exercise. Uh, so this is going to be, I guess, actually step two, because what you completed previously uh, with the background info and the questions was to help you to kind of set this up. So <clears throat> there are four documents that we're going to take a look at. And again, um, those that are in class are going to be able to see this, but uh, those of you that are virtual uh, won't be as exposed to this particular question. So basically what we're talking about is happening. Um, you have an aunt that has passed away um, and you're living during the progressive uh, movement. So she gives you a million dollars and she has been very specific in the point that in this money that she has left you, you are going to uh, be con uh, contributing to causes during the progressive movement. So each of these documents are going to be looking at a particular um, issue, very important issue from the progressive movement. And you're going to be using some of this information within uh, the performance assessment. And we will see uh, what that looks like here um, in the next uh, few days. So document A <clears throat> is looking at the conservation movement. Um, again, uh, President Teddy Roosevelt was a huge conservationist. Um, there is a um, short uh, quote uh, from uh, Mr. John Muir um, and a couple of uh, maps that are looking at areas that had never been logged as far as forests that had never been um, gone into and trees cut down for different purposes. And you can see in this document, 1650 on the map on the left, and then 1920 here on the map on the right. And the darkened areas were forest areas that had not been logged. Um, so again, logging is going in and cutting these trees down. And when you look at the picture on the right, you see the significant amount of forest that had been logged. And this was very alarming. <clears throat> and this was something that... Um, Teddy Roosevelt was very concerned about and wanted everybody else to be concerned about. So this document is taking you through and asking you some questions about that particular issue. <clears throat> document B <clears throat> is from Lewis Hahn. Lewis Hahn was the individual that we looked at the child um, labor pictures and the WebQuest uh, assignment from last week. And here, uh, these breaker boys or boys that worked in uh, coal mines, <clears throat> and I know the picture is kind of dark and distorted, um, but uh, the information here and the picture will help you in answering the questions uh, that you see. And I know it. question number four says, how does this, has the photograph help support uh, this description that's up here? Um, but this is a very dirty environment. Um, these kids are, are on their um, knees, um, kneeling down pretty much, you know, 12 to 14 hours a day, uh, working very hard. So just keep that in mind as you are answering those questions. Document C is a women's suffrage movement. Um, Jane Adams is the source here. If you remember from the crash course video, Jane Adams founded the whole house, which was the settlement house. Um, again, helping immigrants settle into the United States. Uh, and again, uh, some questions in dealing with um, some of the things that we talked about with the women's suffrage movement. Uh, this picture here is Alice Paul and the National Women's Party that um, we did concentrate on um, last week as well. The last document is from Upton Sinclair. And this is something from when we were all virtual that we that we were looked at uh, the meatpacking industry and just the nastiness that was involved with it. Um, and you can see all of these uh, uh, hanging, uh, the hanging meat um, just hanging. Um, 
again, not a lot of refrigeration uh, or sanitary concerns. Uh, so again, some questions in dealing uh, with that. So each document only has like three to five questions. Um, all of these questions are very specific to the documents and what we have learned. Um, but these are going to again help you in the performance assessment. So again, um, Wednesday and Thursday of this week, we will concentrate on this. So if you're virtual, uh, if you come to class, you will get some more information dealing with this. Um, <clears throat> but if you have any questions, please reach out uh, to me, to Miss Housley, or uh, to Coach Mason, and we are happy to help.